Ricky, congratulations. Tell us a bit about your new role. Yeah, I've been uh, appointed technical director of football club and uh, before I go into that, I thought um, to be the academy manager of this fantastic club and, and be associated with the club for 13 years uh, has given me a great opportunity to now develop myself uh, both personally and establish the academy over that time and now I really am excited about moving into my new position as the technical director. And what, what sort of stuff will you be doing in that role? Uh, the technical director role uh, is a new position first of all I'll be becoming uh, a member of the football board uh, which will work alongside the manager of the football club uh, David McNally the chief exec and obviously the, uh, the new uh, head of recruitment and, and that's a, a, a team that I'm really excited to be working alongside and, and establishing uh, a football board to ensure that we continue to measure and uh, plot our success hopefully back into the Premier League. Is it part of your role to sort of try and take the, some weight off Neil's shoulders? Yeah, the uh, technical director role is now to, to look at really uh, the support staff that work alongside Neil and the manager of the football club up at Colney and uh, the football development side, the, uh, the setup behind the scenes has become bigger uh, season by season and uh, long gone the, the days of where the manager looks after all the departments. Um, so I will now look after the medical, uh, sports science, diet nutrition. Um, I will start to look at the facilities at Colney as well uh, and establish that we've got uh, best in class facilities and uh, I will still oversee the academy programme as well but we will be looking to bring in the, the new academy staff uh, for the replacements that have stepped up. You've been part of the club, part of the academy for a long time. How much are you looking forward to this fresh challenge? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really privileged and honoured to be uh, given the role of the technical director. Certainly considering there's been no one in the past and so it's a, a blank piece of paper in some kind of way and I'm looking to shape it. Uh, but very similar to how uh, I've taken the academy over the last few years where we've had to uh, uh, step up to new challenges, to new systems and the Triple P was a great example of that. There was no uh, president for what was expected. It was a blank sheet of paper and we shaped it and we uh, achieved category one status and we achieved a very good uh, mark in our audit. So I'll be looking to uh, ensure that the philosophy that we've undertaken uh, within the academy programme will continue with the first team and uh, working with senior players, working with first team is certainly very challenging and very exciting. You mentioned achieving the category one status there, obviously the FA Youth Cup win as well. Did you feel it's sort of the right time to move on? Yeah, there's opportunities when you look at uh, certain landmarks and certain achievements of goals. I, I'm a big uh, believer in setting myself targets and goals and uh, achieving Category 1 on the FA Youth Cup and, and probably with some players coming into the first team I thought it was the right opportunity now to develop that and ensure that that pathway continues and one of my areas of my roles will be to ensure that the pathway from young players into our first team and uh, we're here away at a, a training camp and we have five uh, academy graduates uh, or young academy graduates and, and Declan Rudd so we have six players already uh, that have uh, had great experience in, in the academy working on the first team squad now. And finally, how, how much are you, the rest of the board, the staff, the players, how much are they determined to get it right this season? We are really focused. We really am determined. We're hungry. Uh, there's a real good vibe with the staff behind the scenes, a real good vibe with the players. Um, some of the work ethic we've seen over the last couple of days has been tremendous and we've got to get that going and we know what momentum can do and we need momentum going through for the, from the start of the season and uh, I can assure you that everyone will be working extremely hard to get us back where we belong.